here. And today we're gonna get some more of them subscribers turning over notifications back to on. See you later, suckers. So that right there was my number one fan. She sent me this little video, so I had to post it up. It was pretty funny. We're gonna start with the number three with the Wolf Senior Coreless. I'm gonna cut with the grain so I could take out the nuts and then I'm going against it. Um, he had the hair on the top pretty long for a very long time, so it's gonna take a little while until he gets back to normal uh, with the number three guard. We're gonna do number three on top and we're gonna uh, do a skin fade, uh, mint skin fade on the side of it. Also, at the end, up the video uh, we also gonna do SMP scalp micro pigmentation on the front edge of the client <laughs> so with the 5-0 guard we're gonna start creating our first guy line about halfway to the temple peak we're gonna do this throughout It's the Christian Perez 245 right there. Just finishing up on this side with the 5 0 blade. And after this, I'm going to wrap my wall seniors on the open position. A half, and I'm going to create another guy line. Also guys, make sure you can follow me on Instagram at A underscore B underscore Fernandez. You could also send me a private message there if you need any help or any questions you have. Now with the wall seniors on the close position, we're gonna start erasing, taking out the line that we created with the five zero. As we're doing this uh, on this side, we do it on the other side as well. We're gonna close it half, I mean, open it halfway, and we're gonna keep working on that initial guy line that we created with the five zero metal blade. So now we're going to go to the half guard on the open position and we're going to create another guy line. Now keep in mind guys it's always good to have a brush like you see here or a comb in your hand. Always combing the hair or brushing the hair down and we're cutting against the grain here. So now I'm going to go to the number two on the close position and what I want to do is take out some of the bulk before we continue cutting so it's easier for us to see the guidelines that we are creating. So again, all I'm doing is number two on a close position, just taking out some of the bulk area. So it's easy for me to see what guidelines I am creating. Then after the two, two and a half open on an angle, not going towards the top, just on the side walls of the head just to achieve a better blind. So 
So once we get dealt with number two, we're gonna go right back down to the half guard on the close position, and we're gonna start working on the initial guideline that we created with the half guard on the open position. So we're gonna close it and then halfway open throughout, not taking it all the way up to where we stop with the half guard on the open position. So close, then halfway, open. So now we're going to use the number one guard on the close position. We're going to start working where we start with the half open. Using the angles of the guard itself to achieve a better blend as well. Right after we're done with the one, we're going to open it halfway and open it completely to a one and a half. You're going to use the level that is on the side of it a lot. This is how you fade to achieve a better blend. Where well, there's an area that it needs a little bit more than others, so you close it or open it as needed in that area. Again, the one and a half open, so all we're doing is keep. We started on the close position, open it halfway, and open it all the way to a one and a half. After this, I'm gonna grab my half guard, my one and a half guard by wall, on the close position, and we're gonna do the same thing, open it halfway, and open it all the way. So once we get done with the one and a half guard, now I'm gonna use what is called a sheer over comb technique and to achieve a better blend. So I'm just gonna take my comb to the side of it and lightly start cutting a little of the top of the hair. This will actually help you achieve a better blend and transition from where we start with the one and a half. Now after we do the sheer over comb, we're gonna do sheer uh, thinning shears overcome same thing so we're gonna think thin out the area there to achieve a better blend as you can see you got to comb this hair a lot because he had the hair so long for so so many months that it's not uh, laying the right way so you have to comb it a lot
So now I'm going right back with no guard. I'm gonna start closing it and then open it about halfway. And what I'm gonna do is about some cleanup work. His hair follicles are pretty spaced out. So to achieve a better blend so it'll look nicer, there's areas that are darker. So I'm just gonna go with the corner of the blade itself on those darker areas or darker hairs um, to create the illusion of a, of a fade in, in a better angle. Um, so cleanup work is always necessary in some occasions, especially as you can see, his hair is really spare, spaced out. Um, so we're gonna have to use the corners of the blade, whether it's completely open or we close it a little or close it halfway. This will help you achieve a better blend. My client did have a little scar on the side of it, so I went ahead and kind of create uh, like a zigzag uh, design there. Um, after I take it out with the blade itself, it's gonna look like he didn't have a scar there. Now I'm using the outliners. I use some sprit um, to put the hair in the front down a little, since it sticks up so much, so it's easier for me to start edging the front hairline. So now I'm using the 245 razor handle. I'm using a Dorco blade, prime blade. And you could use the shaving gel has a sire. And all I'm doing is some cleanup work of what I did with the T outline blade. As you can see, this is the area right here in the beginning that he had the scar. So now I'm just doing some cleanup work, making the lines a little bit thicker. And it looks like he don't have no scar at all. You can make the design bigger and I just freestyled this design here real fast so I cover up that area that he had that scar. So once I get done aging, I left the shaver for last. This is, especially on a beginner um, barber, it's easier if you leave the shaver for last to achieve a better blend. Keep in mind, don't take it all the way up to where you created that first guideline with the 5-0. Now after I'm done with the cut, this client actually asked me if I could do some SMP, which is called Scott Micropigmentation. You do need a, a license or certificate, a class for this. So it's becoming real popular right now. I just got my license not too long ago. Um, and pretty much what it is is creating uh, little hair follicles. So it looks, it's going to create the illusion that the client has hair. As you can see, his hairline was pretty messed up in the beginning because he has a collet that goes forward on the front. So this is going to create like mimicking the hair follicles. So it's gonna look kind of darker and he's gonna look like he has an edge. You will see on the picture at the end. Again, you do need a certificate and take a class for this. This is not something that you could do. So make sure that you go find a class. I'm gonna be offering some classes here pretty soon. Once I do and have the website up and running, I'm gonna have the link in this video where you'll be able to get certified. Or again, shoot me a text on um, Instagram at app underscore B underscore Fernandez. There's different techniques to do this, so you gotta make sure that you do take a class. 
and I'm going to put all the description once everything is ready on my website if you would like to get certified on Scott Micropigmentation. So that's about it guys. This is the final product. You guys could follow my SMP and Brad works at app underscore SMP underscore bras as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Any comments, please share it, comment, and like. I'll see you guys around.